think I've always, like, the whole reason for this is just to make other people happy. Um, I've always, like, been about trying to find a way to do something better. I think that's all why we're here on some, for some reason, to make the world a better place. I never wanted to be a professional dancer. My mom was a dance teacher. I grew up in, in California on the beach. But it was great, I got a full scholarship to NYU for dance. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get to New York, go through NYU the easiest way possible. Just have to wake up and do ballet every day. It got to a point where I was like, all right, there's more to this life. Like I need to figure out what I wanna do. And an artist one day came in and she had this like crazy crocheted bag. And after she left, I like, reprinted her seat and like Googled her name and discovered the world of yarn bombing. I never could have guessed that so m there were so many different ways to use yarn. I started making scarves and I would sell them to all the girls at my dance studio. And from there, I just like loved it. And thinking about putting something out there for people to enjoy, it forced me to explore new canvases and just chain link ended up being by far the the best canvas. Crochet was always, you know, at the top of my list of what I absolutely love to do. Um, it's very rhythmic and sometimes when I listen to music and I crochet, I even try to like move my hands with the beat of the music. I, I really like color. I grew up around, I guess, a lot of color. Just being able to pick the right colors and match them together is, is one of my favorite parts. In a year, I use about a thousand pounds of yarn, but this year I've used more yarn than any year before. So street art, I do it all for myself. I, I pay for my yarn and whatnot. There's a lot of like big companies that want yarn, and this is just like a very easy way to draw attention to their brands. I love walking around New York. It is hard to find fences, and I steered clear of Manhattan for a long time to put up my work there, but now I actually find that it stays up longer. It's almost like a sense that people think like, oh, this is a real thing. When I started all of this, it was really more just like, all right, I love crocheting, I'm crocheting and putting it outside. Maybe after a year or so, people started telling me like, oh, you're such an inspiration, like you're inspiring me. That's one of the big reasons why I keep doing this. We are walking over the Manhattan Bridge and I'm really excited. And every time I hang something up, I get very nervous, but um, it's part of the fun. There's a lot of different ways that crochet can be used and I'm just ready to kind of try out all those different ways. It's definitely a way for me to give back.